hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert the text into mp3 file or speech using node.js and we will be using the google cloud text to speech api in node.js so simply i will be showing you in this video so let's get started so first of all i will go to my desktop directory and inside my projects directory I will open command line here and I will make a new node.js project for that I will be declaring a new directory node text to speech after creating the directory I will move into this directory node text to speech so first of all in order to initialize the node.js project we will initialize this command npm init dash y so this will create the empty package.json file after that we can open this inside visual studio code text editor so you can see it has created this package.json file inside the root directory so it contains very much basic information about the project which is name version description the main file and the script section so now guys we also need to install one other dependency which is a node mod which will automatically restart the application and whenever we make any sort of changes so npmi node mod so it will take some time and it will install this so you will see it is successfully installed and now we need to make our entry level file which is index.js which is a main file and now to you need to add a certain script here which is start script you just need to write here node mod index.js so basically we will just call this script npm run start and this will uh, watch our application for any sort of changes and it will automatically restart it so now we just simply need to run the application that is npm run start so you will see it will automatically see for the changes and it will automatically restart the application we need not have to manually start the application so now guys there is a dependency out there in order to interact with google cloud text-to-speech api inside this node.js there is a module so in order to follow along with the video i have given the link in the video description so this is my step-by-step -step blog post so where you will find all the source code and also the step-by-step -step instructions in order to build this application so just go to the video description this is my blog post so this is the library guys so simply you need to copy this and go to npmjs.com this is the official node.js packages website so simply search for this package and the very first package which comes in this is a package we are talking about google cloud text to speech and if you click it you will see more information about this package so you will see 12000 weekly downloads is there so it's a very famous package so now we simply need to stop the application now and install this npmi paste it so like this so it will take hardly some time to download this package depending upon your internet speed so now it has successfully installed it so one other dependency guys we will use is it is dot env so basically in order to store secure secure information we will use make use of this uh, module which is npmi dot env that's it so this is all about dependencies guys so we can now again restart the application npm run start so you will see that and now guys first of all you need to be having a valid google cloud console account so if, if you don't about if you don't know google cloud just search google cloud console here on google and make sure that you link your let me just see what is you should be first of all be having a valid google cloud console account simply type this and the very first link which comes in simply click it for this you need to be verifying your credit card information just if you are residing in India, you can also use a debit card also. So just, just go to the billing section and add your card. After adding it, just go to APIs and services and you need to go to library. And here we will search for the API, which is text to speech. Just search for this API and uh, enter it. So there are two APIs. First is text to speech and second is speech to text. So in this, we are using this cloud text to speech API. So simply click this and click on manage you will see it will go to the api section here so here you need to create a service account credential so just go to this fourth option which is credentials 
So there are many ways by which you can interact with Google APIs. First is through API key, second is through client ID, and third is the most secure one, which is service account. So we will be creating service account for this uh, application. So click on create credentials, and then you need to choose here service account. And uh, here you can just name your service account credential anything. Test service account six, and create and continue. Click it, and here you need to give a role. I will just choose basic and owner. So this is default option. So click owner here. That's it. Click continue and click on done. That's it. So it will create your service account credential. So now this is your sample text test service account six. So simply click this. And now to create a key here, so simply click key section here and click on add key. Create a new key. And there are two options here, either JSON or P12. JSON is the most recommend. Recommended one. Click on create. It will download this as a secure JSON file. You don't need to share this private key, which is uh, specific to your project. So don't share it with anyone. It can be lost. So secure it in a secure location. So I will show the approach how to use this inside the application. So simply you need to cut it and paste it inside your working directory. So my working directory is Node. Let me move to the project Node Text to Speech. This is the directory, I think, sorry, note text to speech. So this is the directory. I will simply paste it. I will rename it as a service account dot JSON. So this JSON file contains secure information about your project. So don't share this file with anyone. They can also misuse and with your API keys as well. I will not show you for security reasons. So now guys, first of all, we will import inside our index.js. I will make a new variable here, text to speech. I will import the library that we have installed here, which is the required statement. So here we will provide at the rate Google Cloud slash text to speech. That's it. Now we also need to invoke or require the dot env. So as you know, dot env is a secure way by which you can store credentials such as passwords keys so we need to require it dot env and this this contains a config method so simply call this and now you can store environment variables inside your environment files so this is very simple simply create your env file here inside the same directory dot env and inside this you need to call uh, if you move here, if you just see here, if you go to the blog post here, you will find the instructions. What, what you need to do is that just create a .env file and here you need to paste this. That's it. Google application credentials. So the variable needs to be same, which is Google underscore application underscore credentials. So if the variable name is different, then you will see an error. So simply you need to provide the path. So my path is inside the same directory, service account or JSON. That's it. If you have a different path, then you need to provide the full path. The best practice is to store the same file in the same directory. That's it. After storing this guys, we need to request it to the library. So for that, we need to invoke or sorry include file system module as well in order to store the mp3 file inside the same system file system this is a built-in module and again we also need to require util also which is again a built-in module of node.js require util so after requiring this we will create a new client const so this will be new and uh, text to speech that we have invoking text to speech dot it contains a method which is uh, text to speech client that's it so it will create a new text to speech client re reference here after that guys we can declare a function here which will convert text to mp3 so simply we can call this function and now we need to write this function also at the top here so this will be a async function guys async put a async keyword here async function 
convert text to mp3 so whenever we load the application we will call this function so here we need to define the text guys first of all which text needs to be converted to mp3 so here we can just provide john later is the so basically this is a sentence that i have written so which needs to be converted to english mp3 file later on i will show how to change the language as well to hindi or different sort of regional language it supports all the languages inside the world as you know google cloud text to speech api so i will show you that aspect also then we need to define the request so whichever request we will make here so this will be a object this will hold various properties first is the input text so we will provide the input text inside this text property text is equal to text whichever text that we have defined and after that we will put a comma as this is an object then we will put a voice property here so which voice that you want to hear so first will be language code so basically from the name itself it will point which language that you need to put your file so i will put first of all english so basically for every language there is a two two letter code here en stands for english and dash the country name which is us so this is a first of all i am providing and the second is the uh, gender so ssml gender g is capital so basically here it is saying which voice you want to hear either male female or neutral so i will put first of all neutral i will show you all the voices as well and you need to lastly it has a audio config also audio config so inside this configuration you will just have a property which is audio encoding and here you just need to put the extension of the sound file either it can be mp3 wave as well so but mp3 is default and it has a high quality so after defining all these three properties first is the input text then is the voice which contains language and gender then there is it, it is a audio extension so after defining all these three properties we can just pass these properties we will again declare this variable response and inside this sorry this needs to be not angular brackets this needs to be angular bracket response and here we need to call this function which is uh, first we need to await it because this is a async function so we are using async await so client dot and in, this contains a method guys which is synthesize speech so which will actually carry out the process of text to speech so here we can put our request pass this request all these options so now we will get the response guys so we need to store it inside the local system so we can just say const write file and uh, we can use util method here util dot promiseify and here we can pass uh, file system dot write file so there is a method inside file system which lets you write the file to a local file system path so we are use this method util dot promiseify and we are passed file system dot write file so after that guys we just need to say await again await keyword we will write and write file and here we can pass the path to whichever let me call this as output dot mp3 and the second argument will be response dot audio content and the third property will be binary this will be a binary file this is audio file and lastly we can console log on the screen that uh, audio text to speech has has completed audio file has been saved so now we can run this application in the command line so simply you will see it has successfully rerun the application this node mon and it has shown the message on the screen that text to speech has completed audio file has been saved so you will see in the left hand side it has created this output.mp3 file 
So basically, if I play this file here, you will see the text that I have written here. If I open this file, John Williamson Latham is the captain of New Zealand. So now you can see a person is speaking the, those words here. And uh, you can provide as much text as, as you want. So there is no limit out there. So you can provide a long paragraph and it will dictate it and it will create a long file. So I will now show you different languages as well. You can test this application. You can try out Hindi as well. So you can just see, just search for random text here. So let me just copy this text and paste it inside the application. So now you can see, now this is a Hindi text here. So we also need to convert, change the language code as well. So, so for Hindi, there is a, you can search language codes on the internet. So this is, will be HI for Hindi and dash IN for India code. And once again, if you run this, now it has again created this output.mp3 file. So now if I play this, इस पृष्ठ पर इंटरनेट पर उपलब्ध विभिन्न हिंदी एवं देवनागरी संबंधित साधनों की कड़ियों की सूची है। इसमें ऑनलाइन एवं ऑफलाइन उपकरण, टूल्स शामिल हैं। So now it has, you can just see here, it has spoken in Hindi and so in this way you can try out for any sort of language, either Spanish or any language in the world. So you just need to change this language code and just the text out there. So thanks so much for watching this video. I will be seeing you in the next video.